right, we're now being joined by Christian Edwards. Christian, congrats on the win, man. Um, talk to me, overall assessment of that performance, pretty happy with the way things went? Yeah, for sure. I, you know, I definitely felt like some of the striking exchanges could have been a little more technical, you know, maybe cut more angles and whatnot. Um, but overall, I'm happy with the performance. I'm glad I got the win and the finish. Before the fight, we talked about how you've been working on a lot of different things and hoping to show some improvements. Do you feel like you did that tonight? Do you feel like you show people, uh, you know, what you've been working on in the gym? Absolutely. I think I showed I have strong wrestling, strong takedowns, strong clinch work. My clinch work is really starting to become one of my strongest weapons. So, um, yeah, I think I'm definitely putting the whole division on blast with my striking, my wrestling, and my overall just MMA. And you had had TKOs on your pro record in the decision. How nice is it to uh, to get your first submission to kind of show that you're a, a well-rounded fighter? Oh, it felt nice, man. It felt really good. Um, you know, I did jiu-jitsu growing up ever since I was like 15, so it's not a new feeling to me, but it's definitely a new feeling getting a submission in an MMA fight for sure. It's, it's a good feeling. Uh, Christian, congratulations on the victory. Uh, one thing that always happens when you bring up your name, I mean, even happens tonight, Big John McCarthy, they always got to bring up John Jones. Do you like the comparison to John Jones? Um, you know, at first, like at the beginning of my career, not so much, but now you know, I really, I realize that it's definitely more of a compliment because that means that they, they see that I might, may have the potential to live up to what he, you know, grew into as he got further in the sport and eventually became the greatest of all time. Uh, you mentioned beforehand that, you know, you're ready for the big leagues, you're ready for I mean, the big names. You said it's up to your manager. Any chance you say to your manager, hey, I want insert big name guy? Um, like I said, you know, I'm just gonna let my coaches and my manager decide what's next for me. And I trust that they have my, my best interest in mind. And even if I do feel that I'm ready for those big name guys, you know, I, I feel that my manager knows what's best. And if he thinks I need one more guy like Hans and Selene, then, you know, that's, that's fine. Thank you. Uh, Christian, in the first round, um, we thought you had it locked up pretty tight. Did you, um, did you want it? Oh, sorry. But did, did, did you think you had it in the first round? Or? Um, I could feel that he was fighting it pretty strong. Um, I wasn't expecting to get the finish right away, especially when he was fighting my hands. I was kind of aware that he was going to get out of it. That's why I tried to transition the mount, get some ground and pound off. You know, that's something that me and my coaches um, have been working a lot and you know, I feel like my transitions from you know submission to control to ground and pound has just has gotten a lot better. Congrats on the first submission. All right, we'll take a couple from the uh, the internet here, Donna. Christian, it looked like there was no other way you wanted to win tonight than than that rear naked choke. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just I was I just wanted to take whatever he gave me. You know, I wasn't I wasn't hunting for anything. You know, I wasn't uh, you know kind of you know like hunt for something that he wasn't giving me because then that's when you start to make errors that could potentially cost you the match. So I was just taking what he gave me. That's, he gave me his back a lot, so you know, I just took what he gave me. You mentioned in the cage that the patchy mix uh, told you that maneuver? Um, I mean, not literally, you know, like he, he didn't teach it to me, but you know, I just wanted to give him a shout out because you know, that's like, that's a signature technique is that rear naked choke. And you know, it's, he's a good friend of mine. So we're really close. We were roommates for a long time. So, you know, I just wanted to uh, give, give him a shout out. I love him. I noticed. Um, I, I noticed as well. Like that we're talking about potentially fighting a, a, a more a, a more known name, a bigger name fighter. But this guy was by far and away the most experienced guy you faced in the pro ranks. Could you feel it in there? And did you feel comfortable in there with someone with with eight pro fights under their belt? Um, yeah, you know, I, I just I really felt like I belonged. You know what I mean? Like I felt like even if he did have the experience factor on me, I knew that you know I belonged in there and I was capable of putting them away like I did. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. All right, the last question will come from Lenny March. How's it going, Christian? How are you? Good, I feel, uh, feel good, ready to uh, celebrate a little bit. <laughs> good, good. It was an impressive performance by yourself. Um, you know, I honestly, I just have so much going through my head right now. It's, it's hard to explain, really, like, I have to go back and look at the fight. I know there's some things I could have did better, um, mm -hmm. but overall, I'm, I'm happy with my performance, and I'm, I'm glad that I got the finish. Yeah, before the fight, you said that you was expecting a lot of violence. Was that much a cleaner fight? Uh, a cleaner fight than you expected? Uh, 
Yeah, I was, you know, like I said that knowing that for sure he was gonna uh, bring out the bring out the best in me. So I was gonna, you know, hit him with my best techniques, lay out, lay out some vicious ground and pound, you know, and, and uh, ultimately get the get the submission. You mentioned uh, the great John Jones in the cage and how he helped you in MMA. How influential is he in your career, and how far could he help you take it to M in your MMA career? Um, very, very uh, much influential in a lot of the a lot of the things that I do, as far as like um, you know, just how I carry myself and truly like a mindset thing too. He's got a great mindset for MMA, the greatest mindset for MMA. That's why he's the greatest of all time because you know he goes in there believing that he's the best in the world and that, you know, he's just not be able, he's not going to be able to be beat, you know, and that's how I want to feel every time I fight, so he, he has a lot to do with um, how I carry myself as a fighter. Yeah, was he in camp helping you get prepared for this fight? Yeah, yeah, we uh, we watched we watched film on Hamza together, he, he, you know, worked with me a little bit and taught me a few cool techniques and uh, yeah, it was, it was, was an honor working with him. Well, congratulations on the win and uh, good luck in your next fight. Thank you.